Hey everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing well. In this video, what we are simply going to do is to be looking at some of the new photo editing tools Canva has added in the platform. And you know, Canva really is looking at upgrading and making the, you know, the whole platform a better place for you and I. So let's just go into them and let's see some of these features and then um, we'll also try to create something beautiful out of them. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into Canva and let's get started. All right. So this is a simple image I have over here and just so we can be able to start discovering things out. The question is where can we find these AI tools? Okay, so once you click on edit, you would see we have select area over here. And with a new feature, you can click using the magic grab feature. Okay, you can click on specific areas and you can use magic grab to pick them out. Okay, so once you use click or you choose click, Canva will analyze the image just to point out some of the areas you can choose. But you can always select the areas you want, even if Canva is not pointing them out. Okay, so you see, we can also choose the laptop and maybe take this out. Maybe it's just a laptop I want to pick out of this image and I choose magic grab. Okay. So magic grab will also analyze the image and make it possible for me to move this laptop out of the way. So now I can move the laptop out of here and you can see what we have anyway. So let's go back in there and there's so many options. There's also the brush. Okay. But with the brush to make sure we are explaining things properly, I'm going to add another image. So let's go here and search for crowd. Okay. So once I search for crowd, I'm just going to go into, you know, photos and we can add any photo of our choice. Okay. So let's say I was a detective and this image was submitted to me and I just want to pick someone out of this image. This is where I can use the brush because it gives me the option to actually select what I want to select. Okay. So I can just come here and who can we select? Let's assume this lady. Okay. So I can just brush her just like what we've done. Okay. And I can use magic grab to pick her out. Okay. So Canva should analyze the image and, you know, give us something. So you can see now we can move this lady, you know, straight from there. And this is just beautiful in Canva. So maybe I don't want her to be there. I want her to be here. Okay. And you know, that is it. Very, very interesting. Now with the same thing, what you can even do is once you have, you know, something, an area selected, okay, instead of magic grab, we can also use magic area to remove her from there. And you see what we've been able to do. And we have auto detect as well. We can just tick on and I can maybe t select this woman and also remove her using the magic eraser. Okay. So this is something beautiful you can do in Canva and uh, being able to remove it, you know, pretty nicely. Okay. Now there are more things we can do. You can also select the foreground and background and you can even select text in an image. Okay. So let's come into, let me just add a new page and let's come here and I'll just say signage. Okay. To signage. And I'm just looking for an image where we have a number of text, you know, some text in there. Okay. So this is a cool image. Okay. So now let's come to edit. And let's just go all the way to text. Okay. So we have text and you see Canva able to select the text. So we select it and we say grab text. So once you click on that, it should analyze and we can now move the text. And you can even edit the text to say anything at all you can say. So maybe instead of toilet, I can say wash room. All right. And I can also just paste it back there. And it would look original, you know. So this is one of the pretty beautiful thing inside of Canva that you can do. Okay. I, I think this is very nice. We've changed the text and it still looks original as if nothing has been done to the image at all. So these are some of the things we can really do. Now I want us to create something beautiful using some of these tools. Okay. We might not use all of them, but just a few of them to create something nice. So let's check it out. So here we have the image in here and I'll just make it bigger. All right. And we'll just, you know, slide everything here. All right. So what we can do is I'm just going to go into edit and I'll just choose the brush. Okay. With the brush, I should be able to select where I want to select. So I'm just going to increase the size a little bit and I will brush all of the side. Okay. So let's just brush it. 
And I think this is cool. Okay, so we are brushing everything. Then we'll choose Magic Grab. Okay, so Magic Grab should also analyze the image. So after we do Magic Grab, you can see we can now move this area around. Okay, so the next thing we just want to do is we can just make the colors pop out. And you can change any color at all you want to change. You can see over here that Canva has detected some of the, you know, the major colors in this photo. So if you want to change a color, you can simply choose any color and choose another color. And you can see how things are looking now. So this is a very cool feature in Canva right now. Okay. But what we just want to do is to pop things out a little bit. So I'm just going to go to saturation, increase it a little bit in the vibrance. Okay, so that this is standing out. Then we can just come to the background and also increase the saturation for it. Okay, now let's add the text. So I'm going to add this text over here and I'm going to choose, let's say poppins. All right, and all I would say is let's go fishing. So I'll first of all say fishing, increase the size and make it bold. Okay. And we just can just also make it italic and over here we can just drop it here and since we've been able to separate you know this whole area from the you know, from the clouds we can just send it back okay, and this is how things are looking then we can move this to the top and just say let's go okay so let's go fishing then we can also reduce the size a little bit and just have it here okay and just have it here then we can add some clouds. So come to clouds. So you just go into element and search for clouds. And we can just add some white you know, clouds just to make sure everything is looking interesting. Okay. And then we can just duplicate and bring this to the front, you know, just to make sure things are looking interesting. You can see just with a few editing techniques, we've been able to create something beautiful like this inside of canva and let me know what you think about this in the comment section below all right and yes more tutorials like this would actually be coming up so make sure you're subscribing if you haven't the name is benjamin always remember there is no limit to creativity and i should see you in my next video peace